Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 888, Fair Candy Swap. This is an easy level problem. I'm going to solve it in JavaScript. This problem was one of those problems where you read the prompt and you, you don't really understand what it's asking. And it probably take you a couple of reads for you to understand it. But basically we have um, two different people, Alice and Bob. And the idea is Alice has an array of candy and Bob has an array of candy. And each of these values represents a candy length. And they want to swap it. They each want to make one swap. So the total of them will be equal. And it wants us to return an array of the swaps that what A is giving up and what B is giving up. So A is giving up one and B is giving up two. So in turn, A has one index one comma two, which adds up to three, and then B has one comma two, which adds up to three. And we get, and we return that output. And in addition for it being complicated to understand, there's also a, a math formula that you can, uh, a formula, a algebra approach, so you can solve this problem efficiently. So what we want to look at is that we, we know that they add up, they want it so, so they add up to be total, add up to be equal. So we, we gotta know that the sum, the total of S of A, so total of A, and we give up an A minus an A, and we gain a, a B is equal to a total of B, we lose a B and we gain an A. So this is the general idea of how we can find the equal ones. And then we can just solve for one of them. So let's say we can just solve for B. So we, first we add the B to each side, there's two B plus total A minus A equals total B plus A, and then we just subtract total A plus A. So two B equals total B plus minus total A plus two A, and then B equals total B minus total A divided by two plus A. So that's the general idea. So we can, we can calculate this and then we'll find it where B has, has this amount. And then we, that's what we're gonna find the B. And then we're gonna also find, we're gonna test through each A to find where the B will be equal to that. So, the, the pseudocode is that first we gotta create a, an array, output array. And next we have to create a map, create map object to keep track, to keep track of the unique values in B. Let's say like that. And now we'll have to, we have to find the, the total A. So create, total A variable, and then create total B variable. And after that, we have to fill up the total A. So we loop through A to figure it out. Loop through A, and then increment values to total B. And then same thing with the total B variable. Loop through total loop through B, increment, I say add values, it's not really increment. Values, uh, this should be total A. And then we also have to add it to the, the map, to map B. Now we have to find this, this equation. 
So this is the possible search. So we can call it Delta create Delta variable equal to equal to that. And now we know that we can loop through it again. So we're gonna, once we loop through, we're gonna do another loop through A to find this, and we can add this A to this delta to find what we're needing. And now we loop through A and then find find if the delta value plus current A value exists in B. And if it does, we add the A, the first index value of output to the I as we loop through it and then we add add the B value from the map B to second index value. And then we return return output. Okay, so that's a handful. So let's code this out that output equals, and this array is gonna be only two swaps, so new array, and it's gonna be two. Two index values, I mean. Next we create the map B object. Next we create the total object, total variable. Total A starts off at zero. That total B starts off at zero. Now we have to fill out total A out, so we loop through a for that i equals zero, i is less than a dot length, i plus plus. And now we increment total a, total a plus equal to a index of index of i. And now we do the same for b for that i equals zero i is less than b dot length i plus plus total b plus equals b index of i and then we also get the map map b of b i is equal to true now we have the map b set up so now we find a delta that delta equals total A minus total B minus total A divided by two, and put these in parentheses. And now, let me just console log delta so I'm making sure we have it right. Great, yes, because because this is two, this is four, let's change one. Okay, now we what do we do next? We loop through a again for that i equals zero, i is less than a dot length, i plus plus, and now we have to check if the matching pair of a is in the map b. If map b index of i A index of I plus delta is true. We want to add these values. So I'll put 
index of zero is equal to a index of i, and then I'll put index of one equal to this. And then we just return output. Sorry, there's there's no need to put the map because this is just setting it to true. So we just add the the value like that. Great. Great. So we got it. So to solve this the complexity for this problem is that we are looping through this. A of B in length, and then A again are these descriptions. Oh, they could be unequal. So it's going to be O of N, where it's going to be O of N, sorry, N plus M for the length of each, each of them, and then the space complexity. will be because we're creating a map for B, so it'll be O of M. M being the second, the B object. So that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.